learned recently, just in life in general, is that a lot of times you think you're the only person thinking the way that you are or dealing with the things that you are. Um, but to have something brought to the surface in such a public way shows you that I'm not alone, if that makes sense. Um, and so when you realize that you're not a freak or you're not crazy for thinking the way that you are, then um, I don't know, it's like an automatic attachment or bond to the people um, that you don't even know that well, but because you have the same struggles or experiences, um, there's a bond there. Lips is a club as well as a publication, and it's a place for anyone to come talk about sex. Anyone can join the club. We basically uh, try and advocate for sex positive uh, environments and backlash against um, an idealized or capitalized view of females and the way female bodies should look. I've definitely seen that girls are willing to speak more. Uh, the more we talk about sex, uh, the more personal the topics get. Um, even though that's the case, people will start talking more um, because they're, they're learning that it is okay and that other girls are going through the exact same thing that they are. Collective culture is very like centered on male sexuality. Like for instance, like uh, mainstream music is very much male and it's kind of like uh, new and edgy if a female like comes in and starts rapping about sexuality or something. It normalizes sex, which a lot of people feel isn't normal, but it totally is under the table. And uh, you can also learn a lot about sex ed, about yourself and treating yourself and not feeling bad about your sexuality, which you can't help. Girls are taught to be prim and proper and to not talk about certain topics because it's not considered ladylike, when in reality it doesn't mean anything and it's just a construct and people shouldn't be confined by that. So I think Lips is trying to advocate and push for people to be uh, more open and not dictate what they say based on like what's between their legs. And for people also, you know, to talk to people on campus and be more open to people about like sex and sexuality and not have it like hidden underneath the blanket. It's like a huge part of life. It's a huge drive. People are sexual. People, women, not just men. I think our culture kind of puts women down so we feel kind of like I guess I'll use the phrase closeted when it comes to anything sexual, but I mean, we need to talk about it too.